Good afternoon, teammates. Chief Olson and I are back with you today. We want to take just a few minutes to give you updates on what we've heard over the last several days as we've dealt with the COVID-19 virus. Chief Olson and I have been involved in a number of telecons with the uh, Secretary of the Air Force, the Chief of Staff, uh, our SOCOM commander, and uh, we, we've been uh, gathering up information, distributing as best we can, and we just want to keep the lines of communication flat. The one thing I'll say as we start uh, uh, this video and start talking to you is how impressed I've been uh, with the quality of our local leadership at the squadron level, at the group and wing level around the globe. Our leaders have been uh, decisive and proactive in dealing with the local effects of this virus. I couldn't be any more pleased with where we are. So we're going to take just a few minutes today to give you a little bit of an update of, of where we are. Chief. Thank you, sir. As we indicated in our prior video, each unit has different impacts. Whether you're at the 353 in Japan or the 352 uh, in Mildenhall or you're here in the States across many of our wings, we realize that the situation is, is different and difficult for all. Uh, what we would ask of you is, as we work through all of this is please work things through your chain of command. There's a lot of information coming out uh, and it'll continue to flow as this situation continues to evolve by the day. What we need for you to do is to stay, stay tuned into your local leaders. Uh, I have no doubt that we will work through this stuff together. Uh, but what we need to be prepared to do is to, is to temporarily adjust how we operate. Sir? So as the chief said, we are going to adjust the, the way we do business. We're going to adjust our operations temporarily as we deal with this virus. Uh, and here at the headquarters, what we've done is uh, uh, put out some very specific intent, but very, very broad guidance to allow our directors across the headquarters uh, to have latitude in how they adjust our operations to meet the needs of the mission. And so to help, uh, to help our headquarters adjust uh, the way we do business, I've laid out five priorities that I've asked the staff to work within. And so each of your local um, units, the squadrons, the groups, the wings around the globe, each of those units is going to have something similar to what I'm describing here for our headquarters. So our first priority is to s sustain our ability to conduct operations and respond to crises. Uh, this is the bread and butter of what AFSOC does on a day-to-day -day basis. And so uh, every one of our actions here needs to be able to sustain our ability to do those bread and butter things. Secondly, specific to the headquarters, our job is to support the operating units in the field. And so whatever we do to adjust our operations here at the headquarters, we need to maintain our ability to provide support to those uh, units out in the field. Uh, third, we're going to preserve the health of our workforce and our families. Obviously, none of us are any good to our teammates if we're busy worried about our own health or worried about the health of a loved one at home. And so we have to take care of ourselves. And that's why those good hygiene techniques that uh, we're all practicing is gonna come into uh, play. But that is our third priority there. Fourth, uh, we need to do our part to slow the societal spread of the COVID-19 virus. Um, as we look across the board, there are a number of things that we can do to slow the spread and, and do our part as, as members of society. Uh, one, uh, we'll restrict our movements. Number two, uh, we'll reduce close quarters operations to the extent that we can. Uh, and third, we'll practice good social distancing techniques in all our interactions. Finally, we're going to continue to operate here in the headquarters uh, by acting on routine and emerging staff actions. And so that is kind of the point of this headquarters is to do the staff actions needed by the units in the field. Uh, some of that stuff is just not going to stop, uh, and so it'll slow down a little bit, but we're going to continue to do our job here at the headquarters to support the units in the field. I know many of us use social media to get a lot of our news. What I would ask of you is please don't rely on memes or unverified information. Where we need you to get your information is through your chain of command, through the Center for Disease Control, Health and Human Services, the Department of Defense, and many other reputable sources. Uh, as we go forward with this, getting the right information at the right time to your families will be absolutely key as we move forward with this. We're going to work together to get after this. Um, and what I would offer to you is do your part to, stop, to, to slow the spread of this virus. We need your help with this. As I said at the beginning, Chief Olson and I couldn't be any more proud of the leadership teams we have in place across the command. Uh, decisive, engaged leadership, uh, responsive to the needs of our airmen and their families is going to be the key to uh, helping us all get through this uh, um, together. Uh, it is going to require a bit of uh, adjustment to the way we operate. 
uh, we're going to make those adjustments and continue to press on. That's what we do in AFSOC. Flexibility is one of our hallmarks, and this, so this is not going to be any different. As we go forward, Chief and I will be back in touch with you frequently. Meanwhile, uh, take care of the mission, take care of one another, look out for our families, uh, and we're proud to serve with you. Thanks very much.